Hey, welcome to the Better Black, Black America podcast. Now, we're, we're working hard and we're doing um, what we're required to do. And, uh, you know, before we launch this thing, we have to, you know, check boxes and talk to, um, you know, the religious people, you know, who are now the religious people, our religious friends. We found out that they're not a race because the anti-defamation Jewish League have issues with us speaking the truth. And maybe they don't know that we know the truth. But the truth of the matter is uh, when it comes to race here in these United States of America, the conversation is only to be had by the black man right now. Only because the black man has survived, you know, any and everything that was thrown at our race and they're expecting us to be extinct. But now we're looking politically. We see the patterns. We see the natural algorithms that's out there. And we're really pushing back on all of the drama. We're pushing back on all of the drama. We're not, you know, uh, going to fall for the okie doke. We're not going to be hoodwinked no more. We're not going to be bamboozled no more. We're not going to be led astray no more. And this is why we can no longer run amok. Now, race in America is solely between black and white. And if you are biracial, if you are an ethnicity, if you are a part of a, of a LBGTQ agenda, that has nothing to do with race. And the only reason... The world is 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 where it is today is because race is not talked about by the people that is affected the most. So therefore, we are standing up and this has to end. We're going to close the last chapters you know, on race. We got Big Joker and Little Joker. If you understand the game of spades, and we only need two books to win and we can and we will. And this is what we're going to do. So the Better Black America podcast is going to, you know, be the podcast is going to just speak truth to power. Um, that's going to articulate the plans of what's going on and going to influence the next generation because generation X is next and X is a uh, in a mathematical from a mathematical perspective. It's an unknown factor. So therefore, the baby boomers named us and said that we're the lost generation and skipped us and promoted the Pepsi generation, which was the next generation, the millennials. And now we have what we have here. But X, the unknown factor, is the generation that's going to liberate and dominate the world moving forward because it was delayed and not denied. The Civil Rights Acts, the Civil Rights Acts as a whole were um, hijacked by Lyndon B. Johnson. OK, Lyndon B. Johnson was the one who, you know, the one that sent black men to all wars, the one that put us on the front line in in in, in you know, countries, you know, that had uh, people of color in Vietnam, you know, the crack era, the drugs, um, the feminist movement was added to the narrative. The gay movement was added to this narrative, which was, you know, put black, white men and white women in control of the ethnicities. And then they decided and said, you know, we can't even be black no more because that's too powerful. So in a nutshell, race in America is solely between black and white. Asians have their countries and their lands that they can go to. Here in America, it's black and white. And if you're biracial, you're in the middle. So take a seat and sit back. If you are white, you all the way to the right, the lightest of the color chart when it comes to humanity. And if you're to the left and if you're the black, you know, you're, you're the deeply melanated people and we haven't been champions, so we must champion ourselves. So in a nutshell, if you're not black or identify a part of the black race, then you have no skin in this game. Go figure out what you're going to do. Do your thing because this has to be done and it's going to be done by black men here in America. And we're going to bridge the gap and our number one claim to fame that we're going to do is amend that 13th amendment because a lot of people don't know that we're still slaves when it comes to you know private prisons when it comes to the prison industrial complex when it comes to prisons all over the world america has the least amount of people on this continent than all the other continents but we have over 60 percent of the world's prisoners so if you uh, have an issue with what i'm saying please look at the 13th because we're moving full steam ahead and we're going to take your nickels and your pennies to do it so a better black america podcast is here today this was one of the pilots so you will be seeing us in your app store you will be seeing a better black america podcast all over stream all over all your streaming services and you will be seeing contents and uh you know, a political push from the humanitarian perspective, the whole nine. So this is what it is. So a better black America podcast. 
2022. And we're really working hard and diligently in the month of uh, February, which is Black History Month, because we're going to push this thing for the rest of the year, 2022 being the year of the black race. And we're going to be celebrating August 20th of the year 2022, uh, our three years removed from the 400 year biblical per biblical curse. This is why 1619 is so relevant. And that's knowledge, equality, knowledge born. Better Black America podcast.